Okay, what we have here is uh, a crankcase half for the Aero-V 2.1. Uh, when I received it, uh, I noticed that there was uh, some uh, residue left over from the foundry that uh, would be best removed from the crankcase before assembling the engine. Uh, so what I'm doing here is uh, showing you how I am going to remove some of the uh, excess material, uh, which would be called deleterious, which means harmful, in an unexpected way. Uh, and, uh, and the unexpected way would be if one of these little chips right here came loose and got into your oil system and into your bearings, uh, it could end up making a very bad day for you. So what I have here is a, an old die grinder with a long, uh, fairly long a rotary file attached to it. This die grinder is kind of old and wore out, which is good for the job because it uh, doesn't have a whole lot of power and it won't go real fast. And I don't want to go fast because I want to maintain control at all times. Uh, I want to be careful that I'm, I don't uh, uh, touch any of the machine surfaces or put any gouges or nicks where I don't want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, uh, removing this material right here between these two valve guides. You can see where my rotary file is. Uh, I have some still pictures of it, but it's a part that could easily, little pieces of that could break off very easily and get into your oil system. So you're just going to make a little noise now, but I'm going to show you how I'm going about doing it. I'm very, keeping, keeping it going very slow and keeping good, good control over my rotary file. Okay, there you have it. You can see where the shiny spot is here where I moved that uh, excess material that could very easily over time uh, through heating and cooling cycle would, would, would flake off and break and uh, get into your oil system. So that's all I'm doing. I've done it in several other spots uh, and I just wanted to make a little video to show you uh, how I do it. There's, you can also do it with a uh, Dremel tool with a similar tool or similar bit on the end of it. Uh, do it with a file if you don't have any power tools. Just be careful you don't get into any machine surfaces.